days of summer and getting ready for a working dog weekend. A working dog weekend indeed. It's happening Saturday and Sunday at Lake Metro Parks Bar Park. Livestock manager in Peterson is here to tell us all about it. But first, this is a weekend really to celebrate all different types of dogs. And uh, with us this morning, we have three different breeds. And we have Marco over here, right? What's Correct. Marco do? Marco's an explosive uh, detection dog and a patrol dog. He does tracking, uh, building searches, handling protection, crimes lost people, evidence collection. You say it takes a lot of work to train these dogs. A lot. Talk about the transformation once you put that collar. He has his working collar on now. Talk about the transformation once that happens. When he gets his collar on, uh, he knows there are certain things he's not allowed to do. He doesn't associate with the other animals. He doesn't get to do certain things. Uh, when the collar comes off, he's allowed to be a normal dog. Oh. Now, I love Border Collies, and that's our next dog over there. I, I, I was at one time thinking about getting one, but I'm, I'm thinking maybe not. Because, Why? Uh, because it's uh, like a sweet dog. I don't know, but they're very pretty. I, I like Border Collies. So so what, it, what is this, Maddie? Maddie is nine years old, and Maddie is a very smart dog, and sometimes that requires a little bit extra okay, time no. and effort. Okay. Okay. Maddie's focus because they'll, is they'll mess around and be the alpha, and, you, and you're, gonna, you're kind of like the followers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, right. They, they, they try that. Yeah. Maddie having a specific job to do to help us with the sheep at the park mm -hmm. keeps her busy mentally and physically a lot. Is that what they do historically? Uh, were they years ago sheep dogs? Traditionally, they have been selected to help herd livestock from place to place. Wow. And Maddie's a great example of having that instinctual ability. Mm -hmm. well, it's amazing yeah. to watch him go to work. Yes, too. yes. Sure it is, yeah. All right, very cute. And who do we have over here? Little baby. We have, this is uh, little Raymond. Mm -hmm. He's 10 weeks old and he has just uh, started his training to become a leader dog for the blind. I like his little scarf. <laughs> future <laughs> leader dog. He is a future leader dog. So how do you start in training a dog to be a leader well, dog? The first year is mostly socialization mm -hmm. and basic obedience. He needs to learn how to be out in public and behave himself without getting in trouble. Mm -hmm. We go into restaurants and grocery stores and places where a person that needs a guide dog would travel so that he gets used to those things so that he doesn't become distracted once he's actually working. Can any dog be a guide dog? Well, it's possible. The, the uh, main criteria is the early training. If, you know, if you start a dog at seven weeks old and get it going with the things that we need to do, then there's a good chance it could become a guide dog, sure. Can you show us what a leader dog can do? We can. We have Lori with us, and her guide dog is Gipper. Gipper. And uh, mm -hmm. they have been together for uh, since uh, December, okay. November. And one of the things that a guide dog would need to do to assist a blind person is to help them find any kind of change in surface, like the stairway, okay. that type of thing. So we do have a little stair over here, and we were going to ask Gip to get Lori safely up those stairs, and we'll see how he does. She's going to give him the command to find the stairs. Okay. He should stop when he gets there so that she can use her footwork. All right. How long does it take a dog to, to, to know those commands? Well, we start that at, uh, at our initial training here at seven weeks. We are with them. I am a puppy raiser, and I have them for a year. We do all of those things. You'll, I will never change surfaces without stopping and tapping my foot and getting the dog to understand that there's something he needs to uh, acknowledge there. Uh, once I'm done with them, they go back to their school leader dogs for the blind in Michigan, and they work about four to six months. Mm -hmm. That's going to be there. a special bond that they have, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, definitely. All right. Tell us about this fantastic weekend you have. Working dogs. We have a lot of things going on in addition to the canine units coming out and Maddie here working. We have a lot of other service groups coming out. We have the Reading with Rover program, which is a great program for young kids to learn to actually enhance their reading skills, reading with the dogs. All of the events are online at LakeMetroParks.com and most of the activities will be indoors this weekend. So This Saturday and Sunday from what, 10 until 5? 10. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, thank you. Those my kids just would love this. Yes. All right. Yeah, so they're, they're kind of bonding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first time. So there's all the information up on the screen there if you want to check it out this weekend. Thank you so much for thank coming you. in and, and sharing these wonderful dogs. Am I ever seen? He's a beautiful. This is, uh, this is a German Shepherd. He's a German Shepherd. Beautiful. Yes. I never saw a black one. I like his working color, too. He's got his little badge on there. <laughs> it is 826 right there. 
626 right now. Sorry, I didn't want to skip ahead there. <laughs> I was feeling pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> 